Okay, we are go. Let me turn this down a little bit. We are almost go. So, back into the run of Ultima 3 Exodus Iron Man. So, um, today we're going to grind. But it's hopefully going to be a lot more fun than just grind grind. Um, I need a lot of money. Like, I just need a shit ton of money. And I heard of a way to do this without killing everyone. Which is usually how I made money in Ultima Exodus. Which, everybody knows this trick. You, you make characters. Um, you make, form a party with those new characters. You don't care what their names are. It doesn't matter. And then you strip them of their clothes and their daggers. And all of their gold. And then you kick them out and you sell their clothes and daggers. And I don't know what the name for this is, but I did it all the time. We can't do that, because we can't make new characters. So instead... Uh, we need to form a party. Things are slightly out of order, because I was doing some checking for some other stuff. Uh, I've started making character sheets for the, par the party that we've had. So let's see here. Um, we're going to need all of the clerics, so that includes Brewer. We're pulling Brewer out. Might as well put her on the front line. We're going to take uh, Klaus. And here's the thing. We're gonna, we are going to get Alien, which isn't a bad thing, although she's not going to do a lot because we can't get her to level 3. Getting her to level 3 bad. Getting her to level 3 really bad. You're downloading a shit ton, a shitload of pa Pathfinder books. Pathfinder's good. Tell me when you get to the. I think it's called like the Meat Crown Adventure, which is a series of like five adventures, part of a huge campaign. Uh, I read that, and that thing was fucking amazing. Okay. Uh, who, who else can cast Will Magic? Um. Clerics, duh. Druids can, right? Druids can. Illusionists can? I don't know how good the illusionist is, and the paladin can. You know, having a paladin in the mix would not be a bad thing. How many paladins do we have? We'll run Kingmaker. I can't remember the Kingmaker series. I've seen it, but I haven't actually. Sinner is a paladin, a Bobbit paladin, which I don't mind. And that's it. Sinner is our only paladin. Um, and the illusionist. Yuri is a fuzzy uh, illusionist, which is like, I, I think that's the worst thing you can be for an illusionist. No, it's fine. But I think... I think Yuri is... I think we'll skip that. Who else is a fuzzy? Do we have any fuzzies? They're a rare species. We have a fuzzy ranger. Huh. That's, that's a damn shame. Both of these are really not what fuzzies are good for. They're really good for... God, fuzzy ranger. That's, that's a damn waste is what that is. But it doesn't matter. Let's get Sinner. Okay. Alright. There we go. The March of the Penguins. Now, one thing's definitely for sure. Um, we need to move Sinner the front and we need to oh good alien has all the gold <laughs> we need to shuffle the gold over to alien and we need to grab some stuff for sinner she can get iron armor we'll see if we can't get her hooked up with some bronze in fact we need to get them all hooked up for with bronze and she needs a sword like soonish so that's the first thing we're going to do. Actually, the first thing we're going to do... Um, give a thousand to Alien, who's our purser.
And the infamous brewer, welcome to the party. And the first thing we're going to do is start selling blood. Give blood, sinner. Give blood, Klaus. Give blood, alien. And actually, I believe, give blood, alien again. Give blood, brewer. All right, we are doing a three cleric party? Yep, we're doing a blood drive. So here's what's going on. Every time you give blood, you get 30 gold, but you lose 100 health. But if they are all if they are all clerics, then <laughs> uh, what's that like? That's fine for now. Then they can all cast heal. It was also decided that uh, Brewer does all of her magic via beer. Okay. Let's get mo Mosian. Let's get some equipment. So the blood drive, um, I, I did not know about this method, so I don't know how effective it's going to be. Healing beer? Absolutely. It's a healing brew. Fire beer? Uh, I don't think fire is a spell. Let's let's w quickly look at all the different kinds of beer that Brewer has. All right. Let's see. Undead. Well, clearly this is drinking some beer and spraying it out into the air, and all the undead are just purified by the beer. Uh, move. Uh, oh wait. wait. Uh, open. Uh, p pouring a spicy beer on the lock, causing it to melt. Heal, obvious. This is the best brew you've ever had. Glow, um, I don't know. I imagine holding up a beer and it just magically glows. Raise, come on, pour beer into the mouth of a dead body. It comes back to life. Uh, although, oh no, this is, all right. R rise, that's right. This isn't resurrect, this is rise, which raises you up a level. Queenie. Had like, can I get can I get a closer look at this, so that you guys can read this with me? No, there's no way. That's okay. Anyway, Rise. Here's what we decided: fizzy lifting drink from Willy Wonka. That's what Rise does. It's uh, it's this double bubble burp -a beer, and it causes you to to lift up towards a a swing a, a vent fan and get chopped up. Anyway, sink. It's actually the worst beer you've ever had. Okay, move. If you cast this spell inside a dungeon, you can teleport your characters to a different place on the same floor inside a dungeon. This will get you drunk, is what it's saying. Okay, cured. Uh, so good, it cures poison and uh, and uh, the common cold. This is, Her beer is the cure for the common cold. Uh, surface. I, I'm assuming, like, you trip balls and end up on the surface somehow. Uh, star, the spell will keep the dungeon lit longer than glow huh i don't know larger heal obvious it's a better brew um map this spell uh has the same effect as a gem so it makes you see things man banish the spell can be used to attack uh attack with a strong fireball i mean that means it's just cinnamon beer um rise raise this spell can be used anywhere outside of combat zones to revive dead characters so good it raises dead but it sometimes turns to ash it's obviously spicy uh destroy use this spell in a combat zone to attack several people all at once it's effective on sea serpents and man of wars gotta keep that one in mind for later um i don't know how that beer works but it's a lager whatever it is and finally recall 
the ultimate beer. It's just called ultimate U ultima beer. Use this spell outside a combat zone to revive characters who have been turned to ash. You pour the beer on the ash, and it will raise them from the dead. This this is the brew that we're actually keeping uh, keeping brewer around for because nobody else can make this beer. That's how good it is. So that's what's going on. <laughs> so that's happening. How are you? Okay, we need to get f provisions. Oh, well, trial by fire. Um. <laughs> They don't even have maces. And believe it or not, I can tell them apart. Okay, killed an orc. Good to know. Google just answered me. Okay. Well, almost. The nuns are attacking! I know, that was a bad habit. Downloading shit is boring? Yeah, yeah. And hey, you know what? They all have open. But Alien's gonna be using it most. Because she's the purser. 99 gold, fuck yeah. Okay, how are we on food? We are doing all right on food. Also, Sinner can heal herself. And... Klaus can heal herself. And Alien can just continue to heal herself. Brewer has no hit points. That's that's an issue. Especially considering she's like really important. Okay. Cool. So let's see here. I need a sword, several maces. Cloth will do for armor for now. Alright. Talk. I need to buy... Can paladins can use swords, right? They can use all weapons, I thought. Okay, here we go. Paladins, yeah, they can use all weapons. So we wanted to give her a sword. Which is actually just barely better than a blowgun. That's fine. And I need two maces. Whoop. Okay. Let's see. I want to give this sword to Sinner. And I want to give one of the maces to Brewer. And I want to give the other mace to Klaus. Is that Claus or Klaus? Is it Claus? I can't tell. Why the fuck do I need six bestiaries? Pathfinder's a big game? I don't know. I have 496 gold. What kind of...
She has leather on. I could get leather for everybody, but everybody should be able to at least wear bronze, right? Um, Cleric's bronze armor, yeah. How much is bronze armor? Like, how much money are we talking about here? Bronze armor is 575? Um... Oh, wrong button. Five times seventy-five times four is two thousand three hundred. Whoa, that's a lot of money. And I can buy maybe two leather right now. No, I don't think it's worth it. Not with these newbies. So instead we'll buy like 200 worth of food to make sure everybody's stocked up. Because I don't want to think about food. Uh, we'll, we won't worry about armor just yet. Okay, sinner. Switch to a sword. Cloth armor. Klaus. Switch to a mace. Cloth armor. Alien. You just keep doing what you're doing. Brewer. Switch to a mace. Cloth armor. And... Give that dagger to Alien. Give that dagger to Alien. Give that dagger to Alien. There we are. Alright, let's start selling. I have to continue to read this. Alright. And how was everybody on food real quick? 146, 175. Yeah, we'll get 200 worth of food and then continue with the drive. I need 100 sand 200 sandwiches! Thank you for your sandwiches. Everybody gets sandwiches. There we go. 200 sand. Everybody has 200 sandwiches in their pocket. All right. Let's explain what's going on. Uh, within a recent vicinity, from what I understand, because I actually have never done this. All right. Castle British has a doctor that you can sell blood at. And in fact, we can do that like right now. But, if we head north and follow the top ridge where the ocean is, over in this area, it's supposedly Moon, which is a town that also has a doctor in it. I've n I don't think I've been there for the Nintendo version. I have for the, uh, the Commodore version, but obviously those are two very different games. But that is the plan, to go from that point A to point B, healing and fighting as we go so all right let's go on an adventure but first we're going to sell blood again and yeah everybody can cast magic again which is good because alien needs to heal up. Okay, everybody is now topped. Cool, cool, cool. Do you know what we need to get money? Steal a bank. They wouldn't see it coming. wonder how many accomplices it would take to lift up a bank and run off with it. I've seen, like, Amish pick up a barn and just move it. Like, this barn is... Are you kidding me? Well, I'm glad I got the weapons. Formation. Even Alien's gonna have to need to, to work with this one.
Center took damage, not too worried about it. If they were undead, they'd be in real trouble. Die, orc! You don't belong in this world! I was 50 seconds behind in lag. I will reset again when all the books are loaded. Yeah, that, 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 I could see that happening, man. I need to move this over here. Okay. So let me see here. What am I even doing with my life? <laughs> Alright. Let me sell us some blood, son. Blood! Today, my, uh, my wife introduced me to a gunship in which the lead singer... Uh, at the very end, bathes in a rain of blood while singing music. Hi there. Everyone wants to give blood. An alien, she wants to give blood twice. That's 120 gold per hit. Okay, we are all kind of rough now. Let's go ahead and start healing, especially Sinner, since she's going to be wading in through battle a lot. I just realized that Brewer also has one hell of a lot of magic points. Okay. Sinner is good to go. So, why don't we just have Sinner give blood again? Klaus, too. Fuck it! Just give all the blood, man! Uh, 
Okay, now, well, nope, Brewer's got some magic in her too. Well, I mean, now nah, let's not pressure our luck. <laughs> anyway, this is the game. Head back and forth between Moon and, uh... How many, how many routes do you think we should do? Healing all the way. looks acceptable for now. Okay. I actually don't want much of a battle. Looks like this one will have to do. Oh! Well, that's not a big deal. Everybody's got undead here. Just like, crap! What's the worst thing? Like, when you think about it, uh, we, we are, we are pirate ghouls and we will wreak havoc upon the land of Caesarea. Look, hark, a band of adventurers. Let's go beat them up. Oh God. Oh God. They're all clerics. This was a bad move. <laughs> How is everybody? Oh, we can start healing. Let's get everybody above, uh... Get everybody above uh, 100 so that we can, uh... Give blood again. Yeah, okay, that's good. And I assume this is Moon, and we're going to be walking around it just to explore it. Uh, Senator... Cl Klaus? 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 Kla 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 Klaus? Is it Klaus or Klaus? So here we are at Moon. Who are you? Oh no. It's like Montor East all over, or Montor West all over again. There, there are mysterious gates in Caesarea. They open and close according to the waxing and waning of the moons. So I had decided, you know, I have it here. Um, uh, where is it? Alien card. So I had decided that everybody uh, worships something. And uh, Alien is the cleric of Faluka and I looked it up I, I didn't know it actually had names F Faluka and I think it's called Thanes I'll have to look it up again the moons in Ultima they have names they both have names and Faluka is the one that turns the slowest but is the smaller moon in other words in on the map it's the moon on the left I probably got that wrong. Like I said, I, I made character sheets. Okay. Um. Let's heal alien so that she can give well I guess we're healing brew damn it Drink this beer! 
It's good for you. The dwarven cleric is shoving beer down my throat. What do I do? Drink it. All right, let's see what's going on around here. There's a lady. Quick, ask her questions. Ah. Answer her questions. No, get away. Oh my god, she's actually escaping. Get her. Tackle her to the ground. Ask her questions. Tell us your secrets. Welcome to Moon, a sacred city. That's a... Do you realize how many bruises we've got? Okay, here's, a, here's some healing brew. Put this in your mouth. Hi. What's up? How, how are you? You look like a holy man. We are holy too. Fortune be with you. I don't feel any different. Alright. Let's see what else is around here. It's a big old building. Darn it, lady. We don't, we don't need to tackle you and ask you about how sacred this city is. Oh, a bar. I've been beyond the whirlpool. Oh, alright. Uh, is the whirlpool a bar? What do you gotta do? Fight against Exodus? How brave. How brave. This is a good town. You should stay here. Everybody keeps telling us that, but nobody actually wants to sell us any booze. Oh my god. Uh, would you like a drink? No. We have our own brewing dwarf cleric who worships the god of beer. Have you ever been to Death Gulch? Not yet. There is a secret entrance in Death Gulch. That's the other way to make like a shit ton of money, but um, that's a long day. That's, that's coming. I don't know how long it'll take before we get there. But maybe we should write it down, you know, just just make a note of it. That was a bad move by the undead pirates. We are pirates! Yar! Oh, oh god, we are so dead. My kid doesn't study at all. I'm Jane. I'm on a diet. <laughs> the twins! One has a kid who doesn't study. And the others on a diet. These are important things to know. It's a fine day, isn't it? A good day for washing. Fine day for washing. My name is John. I know more about Ultima than you. Are are you challenging me there, John? Quickly, what's the name of the uh, moons? Okay, hey, what are you? How? Welcome to the temple. How may I help you? Meditate? Meditate with me. Revive? Donate 900 gold? That's not okay! Welcome to the temple. How may I help you? You know what? Let me try something. Okay. Sinner will heal Brewer. Not much, but that's not why I'm doing this. Sinner has one magic point. Talk, meditate. Sinner still has one magic point. Okay. Good to know. As in real life, meditation is completely useless. Ooh. I like the look of this. Ah, this is the hospital. Please come in and sell your blood. Do you know about the mystic armor? No? 
The armor is somewhere. Oh, hi, Mark. Hey, Captain Badass. So, um... The Mystic Armor Bullet Points It's somewhere Be sure to jot that down The Mystic Armor is somewhere Yeah Gotta get that down You know Could be useful okay. Do you know about the Mystic Armor? Yeah I know it's somewhere. Then hurry up. Bullet point two. Hurry up. Noted by some guy. In moon. Good God. Hope you're getting all this. Ten seconds? Ten seconds is good for Twitch. Uh, watch out for phonies. Hey, wait a second. This guy isn't a doctor. He's just a big phony. Okay, time to give blood. What's the matter? We're here to give blood. Klaus or Claus? Alien can give blood twice. You're too hit point low. Okay, that was good. I didn't want to kill Klaus. That would have been really unfortunate. Okay, um, yeah, let's start healing. Okay, Sinner can now give more blood. Okay, Klaus can now give more blood. And Brewer can now give more blood. Alright, get over here so I can give blood. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop that. Captain Badass, remember this? Remember how they would walk away from you and would not... Let you give blood? <laughs> okay, cool. So how much gold do we get from the, all of that? I remember a great deal of frustration from this game, yep. Okay. So, that one trip, we just made a trip from Britannia to Moon. Okay. We had what, like 300? And now we have 900? So we got about 600 gold from that, from one trip.
So how many trips shall we do? Let's say we do a dozen tonight. We have done one. So let's go back. And that'll count as the beginning of the next trip. So every time we hit Castle Britain to, uh, to Moon, that'll be one trip. Meanwhile, uh, let's look around the town some more. Like, why is it called Moon? Actually, know why it's called Moon. Hey, it's an old lady! Get her! Answer our questions! Answer our questions! We're a herd of no- Okay, what is it? Is it a flock of nuns? Don, I've never heard of that. We, I mean, you brought it up. I play, played by the rules back then. I never would have thought to exploit changing the characters and giving blood and then killing the characters to steal their items. And now I'm changing the opposite way. I don't want to do it that way. Let's go into the forest here. And, okay, let's start healing everybody. Then Brewer starts handing out the magic beer. Okay, cool. We can uh, we can give blood again. Go in here real quick. That's one of the nice things about exploring this place. Is good evening. I'm gonna call her Claws. And clearly she worships the other moon. Good day for washing. There we go. Um, down on that brewer. Actually, nobody can give blood this time. Brewer really needs some attention. Okay, that's the washing lady. We're just gonna ignore her. Ignore her. Maybe she'll go away. Is this the guy who knows more about... They say Exodus is very possible. Are you sure you can win? Absolutely. We've got magic brew on our side. There's a mysteri there are mysterious gates in Sasoria. Oh, we've seen this guy. Okay, that's pretty much it for this place. Um, let's start magicking. Okay, where are we at now? Okay, who's got the least amount of hit points? Oddly enough, alien. Alright. Let's get rolling. Um. Okay. Well, I'm glad I loaded up on hit points.
That was lucky, yeah. Not that it matters too much. Um, because, I mean, we're all clerics here. Which I can't help notice are all women. Nine damage? I just finished healing that damage. Oh my god. Sinner, why you suck so much? Okay, there we go. Nope, we're not done yet. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. All right. Arr! We are more undead ghouls and pirates. Pirate ghouls. We shall forsake this land and destroy all of its... Oh, God, clerics. Jesus Christ, why are there so many clerics? Let's give Brewer some hit points. I mean, experience points. Same thing. She could hit the water if she fell out of a boat. Oh, I get it. Nice. Ah, hell. Cry havoc and let loose the go the clerics of war. Actually, form up, ladies. Brewer is a man, fool. No, as you can clearly see, Brewer is a woman. Looks like a woman. You know what? I'm not going to judge. Brewer could be cross-dressing. I mean, it's not unheard of. Victory! Might as well grab this. How is everybody? Center needs healing. And then alien. Then I guess everybody. Ah, cut us diagonally. Pretty sneaky, sis. The nuns bite hard with their mighty rulers. 
And maces. Probably probably shouldn't forget their maces. I mean, while we're here, why am I not healing everybody? Let's see here. Klaus can heal... Klaus. And who else? I guess Alien needs uh, healing now. Hi. You may do damage, but we'll just heal it. We're unstoppable. Okay, we've just hit the beginning of the second trip. How are we on FUD? Wow, that took everybody almost 50 food. To go through that whole mess. Good to know. All right. Let's give blood. Can Sinner give blood again? Yes, she can. Can Klaus give blood again? Yes, she can. Alien cannot. So, okay. Okay, that was dumb, but not terrible. So, okay. We now have 1,400 gold from that whole mess. I can't tell if this is faster than fighting monsters, but... Considering we don't want anybody at level 3, it's probably better. Le at level 3, new monsters come out. Monsters more difficult to, to go up against. Even if one person is level 3, all the new monsters come out. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, Center really needs some help there. There we go. I'm not going back. <laughs> we'll never get this done if we don't just uh, if we don't move something. Plus, I want to get a couple of bronzes armors, bro bronzes as armors for the uh, two leading women's. 
Klaus, who apparently is really into clubbing people in the head. Hmm. Okay. Klaus. Let's see what we're dealing with, Klaus. I believe Klaus is Elven. Level one, Elf Cleric. Wow. Strength 20, so she does like clubbing people on the head. Dexterity 15. Uh, wisdom 15. Or, I'm sorry, Intelligence 0. Wisdom 15. I guess she'll be the other... Like, she's another elf, right? Trammell. That's the name of the other moon. Did I spell that right? Two M's in Trammell. Hates people who mispronounce her name. Okay. Oh God. I get this up to six points. Yeah, I think I can. Okay, she is card number six. Klaus. Card. I'll have to do character designs later on. I'm a silly bitch. All right, there we go. So, 1400 gold. Let's grab two bronze armors for the frontliners. for center one for Klaus
I tried it. 60 GP. Cool. Okay. Now we have like 14 something. And we need to start healing everybody again. That's the thing, is this route, it is really menu heavy. Like, really menu heavy. But it's making bank. I can't argue against that. So if you don't like menus, don't do this. I'm It's at least faster than going out and fighting monsters. I think I wasted a spell. Not going to moon, let's just go in here and again. What are we averaging here? Every time we do this trick, we're getting like about one, two, three, four, five hits, no, six, seven, seven hits of blood. That's 240 gold every time we do this. Because by the time we get here, our magic is inevitably already healed back up. That's not bad. It's just really menu heavy. Actually, where are we at? Okay, she can give blood again. since Alien has more hit points. She can give twice, once. Damn, man. Still. We made three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen... 150 gold in one run. It's like, uh, on average, opening three chests without fighting. Oh no. It's this girl and she's in the way. She's always in the way. Kill the girl and make her your pudding. Don't tempt me. I can fight uh, people 
in this game. I could just fight random uh, passers by. It's not a big deal. Only the guards would come after me, and I am not ready for guards. Much higher level for guards. Not even top level, but still much higher level than guards. Should we save? We should save. And we'll be fine. Too late, Captain. What are we at? Really, I just want alien topped off. Actually, I don't, that's all I need. I could probably even go for battle if I need to. Can we get by? Guess not. All right. I gotta sit back and let them do this. I don't want so much experience that uh, I'll be level three. That would be bad. <sighs> and while I'm at it, The good news is that, I mean, battle makes it so that I can heal faster, oddly enough, or at least heal in fewer turns. Klaus does a lot of damage for a cleric. Shit. <laughs> So I screwed up there. Yeah, I've got enough for a heal spell for Brewer. Let's see. Brewer has all the magic points right now, but nobody really needs it except for Klaus, I guess. Pro probably should have healed Klaus there. Let's get out of here! Well, we gotta fight this guy. There's no way around that. This guy, singular, one guy. All right, let's heal Klaus. Let's heal Sinner. How many traps are there? I don't know what you mean. I mean, technically there can be an infinite number of traps. Klaus needs it.
Eh, Sanders got this. And everybody's healed up, so. Well, except for Sinner now, but. Goblin. Much threat. All the threat. Very danger. Oh, you know what? We didn't write down this uh, location. Because now we know where it is, right? M O O N, that spells moon. To the Dark Dorb. The B is for bargain. Mr. Garmer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, we have come to give all of our blood. Torrents of blood. Okay, we're gonna heal Alien. And my hope, uh, well, I guess we're healing Brewer too now. My hope was to fill up on aliens 200 plus hit points so that other people wouldn't get mixed up in this. Because if Alien dies, we can pull out somebody else. Uh, well, shit. <laughs> She's at exactly 200. But Brewer can come in for this. Hey, come back here. Oh my god, come back here. There. All right. Fountains of blood, bring that money. Maybe they work for vampires. I suspect they do. Okay, everybody healed themselves. Okay, everybody heal the guy above him. This is going to be hard to keep track of. Actually, we're here. We, we can give more, some more blood. Okay, everybody heal uh, Alien. So now, one, two, three, four. Everybody except for Brew can give blood. Darn it. Holy hell, we're making that money, though. 
Whoop. Darn it. Come back here. You can never see a doctor when you need to. Okay, I'm counting that as the second trip. How many did I say I was gonna do of these? Twelve? Jesus Christ! I guess that's why they call it grinding, but wow. I, I am making money, I can't complain too much. Okay, I could technically give blood again, but how about how about we just keep going, keep moving back to Cap Castle Britain? Isn't there an inn for you to stay in? Oh, uh, you don't know the Ultima series. No, we can buy tents, but that's a hundred gold, and that kind of defeats the purpose. Okay, yeah, let's just go. Let's just go. We'll save when we get back. Alright, Brewer's gonna handle this. Cut turn out the way I wanted it to. There we go. Okay, we're going to go right at this guy. Let's set up and heal Klaus and heal Klaus. Hey, the correct music finally matched up. Why don't you why don't you go against something that gives you more a XP? I am doing something that gives me more XP. I, I want these people in front of me to be level two, but I do not want to be level three. No. Oh. Or are you asking why oh oh why do I not want Okay, the reason why I don't want to be level three is because the creatures in this world scale to the level that you are. Right now, everything is dinky, but at level three, things become a lot harder to kill.
Unfortunately, levels are really easy to control here. Also, leveling up, other than creating bigger monsters, the only thing leveling up does... Oh god, does anybody have open? Yeah, Klaus has open. The only thing leveling up does is give you more hit points, which is fine, but... Oh god, oh god, no, no, no! <laughs> Fun. How are we doing? Eh, we don't really need to heal. Well, I mean, why, do, why wouldn't we heal? Is everybody at full now? Almost. Alright, there we go. So your stats do not get better. In other words, you don't get stronger, smarter, more dexterous whenever you level up. Um, this game is was made at a time before those conventions were set. Uh, the only thing that they knew is that you would need more hit points, so that's all they give, gave you. It's important to remember that this game was made in, like, 1983, so, yeah. The addition of selling blood is new to the Nintendo version. Also, so is the addition of monsters scaling up to what level you are. Originally, you were just thrown into the world... And you were given, like, two different tiers of difficult monsters to deal with right from the get-go. Pirates were one of those. So, I guess three different tiers. In the Nintendo version, they figured that was too hard, so they scaled it down. They made it so that if somebody was level 2, or, I'm sorry, level 3, they would add more monsters. And at level 5, they would add even more monsters. And this game has, also has a cap to what level you can get without doing a special quest. So you could not make it above level 5 no matter how many experience points you got. So that kept happening. Who did I just do this to? Nobody. Okay, let's let's give a torrent of blood. Nobody's really ready to level up. Boy, do we got some gold. Let's see if we can just get alien. To a point where she can give blood twice. Damn it. Okay, there we go. old man say be sure to come back we will eventually darn you little girl always getting in the way
Yeah, this method of getting gold certainly is menu heavy. Oh man. Yeah, I'm going. When are you going to Ambrosia? That's what I'm building up money for, Captain. <laughs> going to Ambrosia is step one. Well, I guess step one is going around looking at different places with different people. Like exploring, fuck, why not? But going to Ambrosia is step two. Because, like, why would we do anything? If monsters are going to get more powerful as we level up, why wouldn't we go straight to Ambrosia as soon as we could then? Like, before we even get the Mark of Kings, why would we want the Mark of Kings unless we got to Ambrosia first? So, yeah, we're going to Ambrosia. These ladies are giving it their all. Okay, let's get some food, because I think... Yeah, we're at 113. We may have just done everything we could just to get more food. <laughs> That's another problem with this, is you just chew through food. Pun kind of intended. Uh, in this particular method. You should do the real version of Ultima 3 after this. Free download from GOG. Ooh. Um, there is. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a quick break, so I might as well save, right? There is a, um, oh, okay, Captain, I, I'm gonna lay some lore on you. So, you might notice that there are towns from Caesarea that show up in Britannia. There we go, save. And, um, you also might notice that, um, some characters survived from Caesarea end up in Britannia. And originally, what we thought was going on was, um, that they just moved to a new world. But what apparently actually happened is when you defeat Exodus at the end of Ultima Exodus, there is a cataclysm. It wipes out the elves, dwarves, and fuzzies. Apparently the bobbits are still around. Most everybody was driven underground. The world was changed. Remember Cap Castle Blackthorn? That was Castle Exodus. Um... Britannia and the royal city, uh, they, they just changed, um, yeah, they changed Cesaria's name to Britannia because Lord British said, fuck it, I'm in charge, it's Britannia now. And Britain is the royal city in, in this game. Uh, Death Gulch went underground, Moon became Moon Glow. Um, there's a whole bunch of little stuff like that that happened. Well, the reason why I bring it up is there's a version of Ultima 3 Exodus yeah, and Lord British, quote, saves everything, end quote, had nothing to do with these four heroes that went, well, 20 heroes that went to defeat Castle Exodus, but 
Lord British isn't quite a, as nice a guy as he says he is. Um, see Ultima, I think six? No, six he gets imprisoned, right? No, that's five. Six. Six is the one where he starts uh, uh, mucking everything up. Uh, anyway. Um, yeah. There, there's a version that, and, and Richard Garriott knows, and, knows about and has played this version of Ultima Exodus that has, like, Ultima 3.5. It's completely fan-made, but it's about what happens during the Cataclysm and all the shit going down as Cesaria goes through its change and becomes Britannia at the end. I want that version. Apparently, Richard Garriott says he loves it. He can't call it canon because there's all kinds of crazy copyright issues, but he says that it's exactly what should have happened and they just didn't do it because they didn't know how big Ultima was going to be and they didn't know what they were going to do with the next Ultima. So, yeah, I, I really want to see that. Uh, with that said, I'm going to take a short break. I need to take a whiz and I need to uh, get a drink. It won't take that long. I'll be right back. switched to milk because the tea was really getting on my nerves and my leg is really hurting. Alrighty. So, let me do one more trip to Moon. But, um, I'm kind of starting to get sick of this. Actually, let's change it up just a little bit. Yeah, let's change this up just a little bit. I've saved, right? I can't remember. I'm going to save again. Would you like to save? Yes. Also, I learned that if you reset while holding the B button... It immediately jumps to this, doesn't give you the opening. That's pretty cool. Okay, we're going to change the party a little bit. So we're going to get rid of Alien. And we're going to throw in Yuri. Who is, in fact, a fuzzy. Alright, we want Sinner up front. We want Klaus there, Brewer there. Actually, that's fine right there. I learned that you are a heathen and that Lord British should sentence you to death. 
That sounds like gargoyle hate language right there, brother. I think we all should be able to live in peace. Oh good, it like fully heals everybody except for Yuri who can't cast heal. I can't use her. She can't cast heal. She can only cast open, which is great. Wait. What? Illusionist. Mace, leather, okay. So, worth something. Half willpower, no dexterity bonus. Shoot. We could grab a druid. Yeah, but you should live in pieces, huh? Okay, we're gonna reset. Okay, form party. Let's get rid of Yuri. What do we have that's a druid? Bjorn! An elven druid? I mean, I guess that makes sense. Or Lerna! You wanted to know about Lerna Bobbit, right? Let's throw Lerna Bobbit in. Alright, let me see here. What's magic like for Lerna Bobbit? Oh my god! Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Did I mess this up? Oh, you know what? She might have had magic s spells after all. Yeah, okay, so I could actually... the di That dirty bobbit. I think I could actually cast heal from, uh, from Yuri. Whoopsie! <laughs> oh my god. You know what else I just realized? Motherfucking, uh, what's-her-face just left with all of our money. How much money do we have? Eh, we've got some gold. Let's buy some food. Share it. Make one last trip to Moon. The shroud hath, the sh a shroud of hatred doth surround thee. <laughs> oh my God! There are so many people who are watching this on YouTube that are confused as fuck as to why that's the funniest thing ever. Okay. I need Sinner and Brewer to change places, and then let's everybody give blood. Oh god. Sinner screwed up. Say what you want about uh, Lerna Bobbit. She's got some uh, skill with magic. Let's give blood again. Lerna and Brew can give blood. I'm not going to count steps, but boy. Okay, everybody can cast magic again. If I had more magic, I would sell blood again, but 
if I keep going back and forth like this. I guess that's also a way to uh, to do this. Instead of doing the trip, just walk around. Problem is that a lot of that money that you're making is just going to food. Well, Klaus is open for business. As Brewer is just downing all of the magic beer. Just glug, glug, glug. Okay. Um, who's Purser? Okay, Lerna needs some help. And we're topped off. Okay, who wants to be purser here? Um, I'm afraid to give Lerna the money, because we both know that Lerna Bobbitt isn't exactly the most trustworthy of women, yes? Let's go with women. Also, that's a druid right there. That's a druid. That's what druids look like in this world, just so you know. Do you believe in the spirit of Christ that inhabits all of nature and not man? Hmm. Something, something translated wrong here. It's not even... It's, I don't understand it. Usually we get a Japanese game that's localized into English, but it just occurred to me what's been going on. This is Ultima that has been localized from an American game company, Origin, to a Japanese game company and then localized again from Japanese to English. The fuck? Klaus has the most money. I'm gonna call her purser. Alright, Klaus, we need 200 sandwiches. Shared the food, and... That's not enough sandwiches. We need more sandwiches. So that's 400 sandwiches we need. And it's basically because we made this trip like crazy. Alright, now we have enough sandwiches. Okay, one last trip to Moon. Let's do it. Uh, I probably should have should have got the druid a sword or something. What do druids use? What do druids use? Mace. Should have got him a mace. Hopefully, Moon has a uh, has a weapon shop. Also, this will be really easy if I had horses, which I don't.
dancing guy doing the floss there. Oh, wait, is there a weapon shop in Moon? I remember there's some, like, mystics in Shiznik. Uh, this is a bar, so not here. That's twins. Dance with us into eternity. That's almost right. I almost got the quote right. Uh, okay, so no weapon shops. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it! This is exactly what the American healthcare system is. You get exactly one turn with this doctor, and it's going to cost you your blood. Okay, let's magic something here. Do not dawdle with the doctor. He does not have much time. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty good. That's a pretty good run right there. Alright. I said 12. I really meant 3 because I don't really have patience for this. I'd rather even do battle for money if it came to this. Or we could go to one of the dungeons. I'm sure one of the dungeons has tons of gold. I miscalculated my patience for grinding. Yeah, like a lot. And we still need to get a mace for uh, Lerna because we know that Lerna cannot chop off unfortunate body parts with a mace. She can crush, but she can't chop off. So, we'll just go with that. Okay, I'm right. Every turn does give a magic point. So let's see here. Let's see. Sinner needs to heal herself. Klaus needs to heal herself. And let's go ahead and cast Resp Repel. Never mind. Another thing that has changed with this version of the game. is you can cast, um, who needs it? Lerna needs it. You can cast Undead and Repel as many times per battle as you want. In uh, the original, you could only do it once per battle per person. Like, each person could only do it once per battle. here.
I forgot that Brewer hardly has any strength. But she's kicking ass. Yeah, as it turns out, I don't have a whole lot of patience to do this. Eh. Good enough. So they made the NES version a lot easier. Yeah, that kept happening for the... You know, it's because of the localization. There was this myth in Japan for a while that America liked their games easier. And then it turned into this myth because people said no, that America likes their games harder. So the, during the PlayStation era, they would make their games a lot harder than the Japanese version. And now nobody knows anything because of Dark Souls, really. Dark Souls kind of fucked everybody's guess as to whether or not people liked hard games or not. But yeah, it, this was just a weird situation because, like I said, this was localized to Japanese from... America, and then from Japanese to America. Resnoth hit points. Lerna. Can it be done? No, I'm short three hit points. So, how many trips did I make? how many trips I actually wanted, right? Three. Yeah. I like that. That's good. <laughs> okay. What did we learn from this today? We learned that Lerna needs a mace. That grinding kills games? No shit. Let's see, Klaus's purser. I think what I've learned today is I would rather go out and fight. Because at least then I could do something. I don't know why I hit that. A lot easier with level, uh, with level two critters. Level two guys. But the payout is so low, then you level, then you die. So, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. 
and everybody heal each other. And Lorna can do another donation. Klaus can heal Brewer to do one more donation. I'm sure this was fun for someone. Klaus and... whoops. Lerna. Hey, wait a second! Resurrecting at a doctor is 500 gold pieces, but that one guy said he'd do it for 900. The hell, man! Let's also get uh, our crazy druid some some uh, mace. Put mace in the wind, because that's what mace wind do. You're welcome. It's like a lightsaber mace. I'm not sure what a light mace looks like, but that's what it is. <laughs> light mace. Laser mace. I like that. Laser blunting instrument. Oh, we're doing that. Hang on a sec. Um, what was her name? Oh, that's right. Lerna. Who is a... Bobbit Druid. All right. Again, one of those characters that is not well put together. Ten strength, fifteen dexterity. Uh, five intelligence and twenty wisdom. Worships. Um, what's in this game that uh, Lerna can worship? I'll put that blank for now. But likes laser mace. Hates. Um. Dick. Penises. Male vagina. Phallic symbolism. That's good. Misogyny. Ooh, that's a good one. Her husband was an asshole. Well, there we go. Oh my god, you know what? I just realized the triple goddess in this is in uh, Ultima is like the sex double goddess. Um, worships. So, what we have here is a feminist. 
is what we have here. We have a druid feminist in touch with nature and a knife. Um, <laughs> uh, so let's quickly save. This is card number seven. Learn a card. I'll leave that blank for now until I come up with something better. And while we're looking at everybody, let's make a new card for uh, Sinner, which was, I think, MVP of this run. Okay. What is Sinner? There we go. Sinner is... Am I reading this right? Oh, no. A Bobbit Paladin. I spelled Paladin wrong, didn't I? Paladin. P-A-L-A-D-I-N. P-A-D-A-L... P-A-L-A-D-I-N. There we go. And not that far from leveling, either. We might fight just a little bit to, to level up uh, Sinner. Because she would be pretty useful. Let's see, 20 strength, no wonder she's good in battle. 10 dex, dumb as a board, and 20 wisdom. Worships, Deku Tree. Uh, this is the person who actually bought in to, like, everybody in the town of Moonglow, or Moon. So, Mystic stuff. Hates science. Oh my god. Worships Flat Earth. She drives her power from the knowledge that the world is completely flat. You, How do you know? Actually, a Taurus Earth, because when you go left, you end up on the right side of the map. Hmm. So, okay. Not sure how she didn't end up as the, as the hippie. So this is card number eight. Sinner. Card. And who else did we use? We've done Klaus. We haven't done Brewer. So one more character card. Brewer. Which I believe is a Dwarven Cleric. Twenty strength? Fuck yeah. Why is... Oh. Five dexterity, so Brewer actually gets hit a lot. Zero intelligence, but doesn't need intelligence when you've got beer. Worships beer. Likes more beer. Hates water. The ocean. We're probably going to have trouble getting Brewer on a boat. I think 
that works. Why are you why are you doing that? What does that mean? What does that emoticon mean? Prohibition would have been better. Prohibition. There we go. Okay, this is card number nine, which means we've done nine characters. Brewer. It means lol. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm learning things. So let's see, that's all the characters that we've touched on, right? So, so far, of the characters, um, let's see, I've drawn five of the characters, and there are four more I need to do some sketches for. But we have almost half prohibition. You, that's not how you spelled it the first time. That's not how you spelled it the first time! <laughs> I, I was drunk on milk. It's good milk. Anyway, that's almost all of... That's almost half of the, the characters in our crew. In our big roundabout. And, um... I guess tomorrow we're going to do some more exploring. I did fix it! It's fixed! Can you, can you not see this? Thank you! <laughs> tomorrow, when I... Haha, <laughs> you forgot the extra S. When I, uh... Um stream Ultima again, we're going to take out a completely new crew of people to help fill out all the characters, but also to do a little bit more exploring and build up. And we're not going to do this grinding shit anymore. This, I mean, I made some money, but thank you. Yes. I don't want it to be over. Well, you know, we're going to stop recording for now, but it, it probably won't be. Um, I'm just going to move on to something else. Uh, still, that was two hours of grinding, which netted us two bronze armor and maybe 2,000 gold. Hmm. All right. Let me go ahead and say goodbye to YouTubes. Goodbye, YouTubes. You guys can say goodbye to YouTubes, too. If you're watching this on YouTubes, who are you? Why, how did you find my channel? The fuck? Anyway. All right, yeah. That's it for this.